Hello there and a welcome to the match review of Liverpool versus Southampton and honestly there doesn't need to be a great deal said about this match. It was a very comprehensive 3-0 victory, sort of a weird victory in a way because we still didn't need to be at our best, like either at the back, in the midfield or up front, but I think every single one of us was so excited to see Jordan Shakiri get his first start and when it was for Milner you knew that he was going to be in that midfield area maybe as a number 10 but really he had much more of a like a free role so he could go out to be like maybe partner Sadio Mane he could go out and support Firmino he could go out and support Salah as well and obviously that was a bit of a change as well it was a little bit different this time as well it was quite a it was a weird tactical decision when you see it when you see them line up and you've got Sadio Mane on the right hand side, you've got Firmino on the left hand side, and Salah through the middle primarily. But you know with that front three that they will fluidly just change and interchange, swap positions, everything like that. And Shakiri was very, very good in the middle of all of those three. He was really, really good. The only thing that Shakiri lacks a little bit is defensively. In the midfield, obviously, when you get someone like Milner, you got Wijnaldum, Henderson, Keita, Fabinho. When he eventually gets his debut and stuff like that as well, you have got people that are very well versed naturally in defensive duties. When you've got someone like Shakiri, who is used to being a forward, he's not necessarily going to have those defensive qualities straight away. You saw Jordan Henderson having a word with him every now and again. You've got to come back and support us a little bit here, and maybe the system at times against better teams against better teams that are better forwards better attacking play they would exploit that system of like a 4-2-3-1 which we sort of started out in but we switched to a 4-3-3 in the second half you'd see that a lot more you'd be exposed a lot more if you just played that but also I think if you gave him enough time he would adapt he would be able to work back do the defensive work as well as being creative but the key word there is creative Shakiri was exceptionally creative yesterday he was key to at least two out of the three goals if not he didn't if he didn't create you know help create all of them in some way the first goal obviously was an own goal from Huet or however you say his name and it was a ball it was looking like Shakiri cut in from his left cut in onto his right foot and it looked like he was going to go for the inside the nearest corner of the goal bounced off a player bounced off a player went in the back of the net and it's a win. It was one nil, and it was deserved one nil all the way through this game. Everything that we got was very well deserved, um, and I just felt that the team worked really, really well. They worked really, really well. Joel Matip with a bullet header, as well. Joel Matip was a surprise inclusion in this game, and one of those that, especially when you saw online, and I will say myself included, from the last time I've seen Matip play, I was I was nervous about what he was going to bring. Obviously, he's next to Virgil van Dijk for most of the game. But I was nervous for Matip because sometimes he can be good. Sometimes he can look really, really good. And he has lapses of concentration. And he had a couple where he put a square ball to van Dijk and it didn't make it. And that put us in a little bit of trouble. Van Dijk clears up, thankfully. And, you know, we are solid enough there. It's little mistakes like that that you can't accept in bigger matches. They will punish you for it. But scored a bullet header in the, in the uh, to make it 2-0. And that was a very good. It was actually a really good performance from Matip on the whole. Only made a couple of mistakes, and we weren't punished for them. So positive from him as well. Mohamed Salah gets the third goal, and I was really, really happy to see him get his goal. I was really happy to see him get on the score sheet. He's doing well this season. Hopefully, no one's on his back because I don't think there's any reason for anyone to be on his back at all. But Jordan Shakiri almost scored an absolute wonder free kick and it hit the crossbar bounced down and Salah got the goal from there but that would have been incredible if Shakiri had gotten his goal that would have been excellent get it on your full debut at Liverpool at Anfield that would have been ace it really really would have been now obviously second half comes and the second half there's not really a great deal to talk about at all it was very pedestrian Shakiri got subbed off apparently it was tactical to try and keep that um it, what was it Jurgen Klopp said? He said something about um, keeping that like defensive solidity. He needed that in the second half to maybe see out the game, which is when they would maybe become a little bit more dangerous. But we also saw the threat out of, of Southampton just by changing formation, changing to the more natural 4-3-3 that we're used to, and it worked really well. 
we limited their chances. We had a couple of good chances as well in the second half. But on the whole, apart from Virgil van Dijk going off injured, which has been said that it was purely a precaution. He had a knock in midweek against PSG. And apparently he only went off because he couldn't shout more. Which, that's quite something, to be fair. I've never known anyone to go off injured because of something like that. But, even so, Joe Gomez comes on. And you've got a partnership of Joe Gomez, Joel Matip. Again, solid, really, really solid little partnership there. Obviously, Allison barely got tested at all. I think he got tested in the 91st minute, made a save at his near post. Andy Robertson was absolutely immense. Trent Alexander-Arnold was looking at one of his best performances, especially in terms of his delivery like trying to get balls to people further forward. He looked he looked brilliant. He really did. Both him and Andy Robertson looked great. But also we got a little glimpse of seeing what um what it would be like when we've got to rotate. Joe Gomez, Joe Matip will be able to partner each other and still be defensively solid when they're both at their best, obviously, especially Matip in my opinion. You know, same with Van Dyke. Van Dyke can partner anybody in the world and he'll make them look class. And that was really, really good. Mane had a bit of an indifferent performance today. I thought he had a good performance, but it was just there wasn't a great deal needed from him. The whole team was working really well together. Midfield looked really good with, with Shakiri in it or with Milner in it. It looked really, really good. I think the second half you lacked a little bit of creativity, which you lost when you, you took Shakiri off. But also, we were 3-0 up at home. We didn't need much more creativity. We just needed to see that game out, make it... Seven wins in a row in total. Six out of six in the Premier League right now. Positive. I cannot be anything but positive. It was. It's. It's really good right now to be a Liverpool fan. It's absolutely exceptional. I've never known a start like it, and I don't think anybody else has either. This is. It's an unbelievable start for Liverpool, and long may it continue. We're off to Chelsea, or are we off to Chelsea? Or are they? I think we're away. I can't remember. Got Chelsea in the cup midweek, so we're going to do previews for that as well. But let me know what you think of this match so far. What have you thought of it? Like, And what have you thought of our start to the season so far as well? Be interesting to get your comments and thoughts in the comments box below. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go get some food. Enjoy your Sunday. And if you're watching the football as well today, enjoy watching our rivals. Hopefully, hopefully get beaten. But I just can't see it from West Ham. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you later.